one more thing I wanted to do for the rest of his life since I was a little kid. Okay, so, like, two. So, um, I know it's, like, not common. Like, people change their minds, but since I was a little girl, I've always, like, grown up with, like, a big mother figure who's, like, just, like, who I want to be one day. Like, I hope I can be so well with her because she's just so amazing. So, yeah, so I always looked up to my mom, and, um, um, I'm going to be talking about my first-hand experience on decisions that have made that have made me who I am today and have um, shaped me into who I want to become in the future and um, what I, where I see myself and the impact that I see myself doing in the future. So, um, yeah, so since I was a little girl, I always grew up around um, her business, which was a, a manufacturing business, so she owns the business. So when I was little, I just remember every day, like, after school, being happy, going to my mom to work, and, you know, like, coloring, and, like, all the assistants would, like, come and, like, play with me, and, like, I don't know, it was just, like, great, like, I felt like a queen over there, so I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, I want to be here one day, that was, my, like, what I thought, so I was like, oh, she's just so great, like, it's just so cool to be here, so, yeah, so first I'm going to talk about um, why I'm here at Cal State Fullerton, and I'm going to move on into why I chose my major, and then, lastly, I'm going to be talking about how I can possibly impact the world in the future. So to start off with, I'm going to be talking about why I'm here today. So I'm going to say like, I got lazy when I was at vacations. Like, I was like, oh, I was like, can you apply, you know, apply. I was like, next week, next week. <laughs> and like the week before I was like, oh, oh my God. And like, I go into like, okay, I went into privates. I was looking at privates and then um, universities. And like, you need two recommendations to this, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, wow, like this is a lot. And I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. So I was like, you know what, Cal State, this is one application, goes to all of them. Did an hour, and that's it, I applied to like five, got sent to four, got it next to Long Beach. Like, I was like, damn, but I'm here, you know? So I was like, Cal State Fullerton, I think that's the best choice. Uh, my parents personally really liked it. It's like driving distance from my house. Um, it's a good school, good, good business program. So. It just seemed like the right move for me to do. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with Cal State, you know? And um, so yeah, that's why I'm here today. So moving on, I'm going to be talking about my major, which is business. So um, business, like I said, like has always been, it's been in my family for three generations. My great grandmother has business, my grandmother and my mom currently has business. So it's just something that I want to continue. And like, I think it's just a beautiful thing that like every person has continued the tradition. And they've gotten far with it, so I mean, it's a good thing to do. So that's why I chose business. And um, furthermore, um, according to my brother, Omar Garcia, he recently launched his um, clothing company last spring. So that was really cool, and um, I got free clothes, so I was like, oh, that's, that's cool. So yeah, so he, in the beginning, he first didn't know what he wanted to do. He was looking into um, becoming, a, becoming a registered nurse, and then like he dropped out and start his own business, which is crazy, but yeah, he did that, and like, he always encourages me, like, and always says, like, oh, I see you, I see you taking over my mom's business, like, oh, you can come here one day, and like, you're more than welcome to take over, and, and I just really encourage my family, which is like a good thing. So yeah, um, moving on, I'm gonna be talking about the, um, what I see myself doing in the future to impact other people. I feel like, um, according to my mom, Martha Villa, a current business owner, um, expresses that, she didn't have the opportunities that I had, which is like going to school. She she started her business like right after, like when she was like 18, like she had to take over the business right away and she didn't get like opportunities like I have gotten. So she says like, she expresses that it's not easy. Like when she started, like people would come into like her work and be like, oh, let me talk to the owner. And she'd be like, I'm the owner. And then it would be like, like no, let me talk to the owner. And then like, she just got discriminated a lot. So I feel like that's something that I would like to spread and like try to put a stop to and like impact the world. like give hope to other women that they can do it. Like, mm. they should dream good. Like, they should dream for something good and like, they should be able to reach their goal without being like, discriminated and all that. So that's something that I would like to like, encourage other women and like, hopefully encourage my kids, like, furthermore along the way. But yeah, so that's, to sum it up, I have talked about um, why I'm here today, um, why I chose business as my major and um, where I see myself, how I see myself uh, impacting the world, so yeah. and. Um, uh, one last thing before I go, I just want to tell you guys, one of my favorite codes by an unknown author is, if you can't stop thinking about it, don't stop working for it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you.